This video will show you how to mod your Wii U using Tiramisu. Let's get started. You need to have a FAT32 formatted SD card to follow this guide. And to format any SD card as FAT32, you can use GUI format or other tools. Download the Wii U Tiramisu all-in-one pack from the link in the description. Next, download the FAT32 format or GUI format if you don't have it. Insert the SD card into your PC and find the drive letter. For my case, it is detected as drive I, and currently, the SD card has the XFAT file system. To make it work under the Wii U, we need to reformat it as FAT32 using GUI format. Now close the file explorer and run the GUI format. Select the SD card drive letter and press the start button. Close the app and open the SD card drive. Open the downloaded all-in-one pack and extract the content to the root of the SD card. Ensure you have inserted the SD card to your Wii U, updated your Wii U to the latest firmware, and connected it to the internet. Open the internet browser. Now enter this address, wiuexploit.xyz. Now press the Run Homebrew Launcher button, and at the same time press and hold the B button. Please reload the internet browser and try the same procedure if it crashes. But if you don't see anything, please keep pressing the B button until you reach the payload selection screen. On this screen, select NAND Damper. Press the A button to confirm it. On this screen, you don't need to change the settings. Press the A button to launch it. This process will take a while to finish. Please be patient. and you will be back at the home screen. Now reload the internet browser. We open the Wii U exploit.xyz page. Click the Run Homebrew Launcher button without the need to press and hold any button. On this screen, select Installer. Then press the A button to confirm it. Select Check. Then choose Install or Update. Select Install. Then press the A button to shut down the console. And now let's turn it back on. Next, select the Health and Safety app and run it. If everything went well, you would be back at this screen. Again, select Installer. Select Check. Then select Boot Options. Select Switch to Payload Loader. Then press the A button to turn off the console. 
and let's turn it on again. You will be back on this screen. Now move the cursor to Tiramisu, then press the Y button. Press the A button to continue. Now press the Y button to highlight the Wii U menu, then press the A button to boot to the home screen. From this onward, your console will boot to the custom firmware environment every time you turn on the console. Now try to run the Mi Maker. And you will get into the homebrew launcher. Now we will block the system from getting further system updates. Launch UFD. Press the A button to delete the update folder, then press the home button to exit the app. You can add more apps to the homebrew launcher by running the HB App Store later. Now let's press the home button to get back to the home screen. Since we have backup the Wii U NAND, it is better to move the NAND data to the computer and put it in a safe location. Create a new folder on your computer and copy or move all the binary files into it. So that's how we bought the Wii U using the Tiramisu method. It is super easy and free. Thanks for watching this video and see you soon.